Righty, welcome back everyone to Divinity 2. Leaving um leaving off just where we were. Okay. So we're looking for that princess, lizard princess. Um that the red prince wants to find. Ooh. Excuse me. Disgusting. Um well, we've got dwarfs around here. I don't know whether they're friendly, they're lone wolves. There's lizards over there. Let's just see who this is. Travelling light, are you? Smart. I've got my whole life in these wagons. And look at me, like a fly in molasses. You didn't see it. Something happened up ahead. Hmm? Blocked off the only road to Arx. Lest you fancy taking a stroll through the death fog. Not really. We're proper wrecked. Not unless you can bring back the divine. He don't twist this pretzel in a heartbeat, no doubt. What have we got to sell? Precious spike. What's that? That's a new one. Teleportation. Yeah, we know that. We sort of used that before. Earthquake. Ooh. So expensive, though. It's good. Man metal. Got that. Got that. Got that. Got that. I've got that. In fact, got that. Got that. Have I got that? Um, got a black shroud. Barrage. Don't know if I've got that one. I don't think I have. He's got Phoenix Dive. Staff. One handed. Um, that's for intelligence. Good as well. They're all pretty good. What's that? Hat? All right, well, not yet. So we've got a merchant. Stranger, not much to see here, but a bunch of sad saps with full carts and empty pockets. It's what it looks like. We're on our way to Arx to set up shop for Lucian's Day, but there's no hope of that now. Whatever's going on in Paradise Downs has good and blocked the path. And unless you want to get a mouthful of death fog or get carried off by a void woken, there's no other way. Only hopes that Alexandra and the D.O. will blow through here and sort this mess out. Well, of course he did. Of course he did. Let me guess. The sun's burnt out and the gods are dead, too. <coughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> The Red 
prince stands stunned when he sees the woman you were about to address. It is she. The woman I've dreamt of since birth. The secret of my soul, my sweet lady, it is... He approaches her, goes down on one knee, and courteously kisses her hand. You do not disappoint, my prince. You are every bit the gentleman they... How very pleasurable is it not to find... He's found her. <laughs> For it is very much in the flesh that we must meet after all. Become one. Oh, Father. Life Shaper. That is what the Goddess called you. How good of you, dear Prince, that you have come to shape life in me. He stands up and scrapes his throat. But before he can say anything, she silences him by sliding her hand in his. She looks at you for the first time with a look of understated condescension that could rival the Red Prince's own. I am Sada, Princess of the House of Law. And you, you interrupt the destined union between the Red Prince... Softly, she moves her body against his, puts her arms around his neck, her mouth hot against his ear. Oh. Let's forget for a moment all the forces that drove us here. Shall we, my prince? Let us think of nothing but you and I. We know each other like only true lovers do. By my empire, yes. At long last, we shall become lover. Quite. Uh, why don't you uh, enjoy a nice stroll? A nice long stroll while the lady and i enjoy a more private <laughs> smiles at him so endearing whatever it almost melts your heart come my prince let's retire to that satin nest of mine follow me yeah. sada and the red prince enter the wagon close the door behind them nothing for it but to wait until they re-emerge. Stay. Might as well stay on guard in case anything goes wrong. Look around a broken landscape. Some giant animal from an ancient empire. A sound reaches you from the wagon. Some kind of moan. Whoa, look at the size of that thing. I just realised what they're on about. You take a step closer. The sound becomes more pronounced. There's definitely moaning going on, but what kind of moaning? You place an ear against the wagon. Oh my. Yes, there's no doubt about it now. You have all the empirical evidence you needed to conclude these are very much moans of feeling rightfully <laughs> relieved and satisfied to have done your duty. You can't help but notice one of the window shutters stands ajar. You walk away. As Sada and the Red Prince walk down the wagon steps, you suddenly witness a group of lizards appearing as if out of nowhere. Hmm. Their commander is a vile-looking lizard, his face the very definition of mischief. Chuckling, he addresses... Well, 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 look who's coming up for air. Mighty powerful noise is I heard coming from that there carriage. Teensy bit jealous of Silence. You will bow before us and explain this intrusion. Or by the seven, I will cut you down where you... My, oh my, you didn't tell lover boy anything, did you, doll face? You've been played for a fool, little prince. She's sworn to another. That's right. Your boo is betrothed to a very different kind of... Oh, God, here we go. All she needed from you was a dollop of prophecy, Jims. I dare say she got it. You utter villain! <laughs> oh, well spoken. Advice I will duly follow. The Red Prince gently cups Sada's face in his hands. 
Sadha, my sweet, our meeting has been shrouded in mystery, but know that I'll do right by you. And I love you. Together we will brave it all. Even the king. Oh, ain't that as sweet as a bowl full of time for you and your belly full of litter to crawl back to the king, darling. Gonna get me some private time. He grins widely, revealing rows of... I've always had a soft spot for red. Come on, then. Some over there. That I didn't know. So low she took a bit of a batter in then, didn't she? Shit. Uh Resisted by physical armour. Resisted by magic armor. Resisted by physical armor. He's supposed to be blind. She's nearly dead. How is she nearly dead? What the? Show yourself. Uh, 
They're mincing through my fucking defences. How? not going well at all. He's going to die as well, isn't he? Yeah, kill them all. He's a dwarf's leg in it. I can't fight these. No chance. Ah, oh, what? Whatever. I can't do that yet. I just got totally fucking destroyed. things we can still do we got we can do try roost again and go back in uh, to that dig site so let's just have a little look around here so look at that thing it's huge The great creature gives you a disinterested look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All the good it's done me. Still, can't complain. Least ways I could complain, but no one would listen. The beasts choose thoughtfully. Nah, no point moaning. You take what you get and you don't get upset. You could have helped in a fight. It would have been a lot easier, I think. I am right. It turns away. Disinterested once more. Look at the hell is that down there? Well, 
howdy there. Nice to see a fresh face among these dour saps. <laughs> so it is. So it is. But these things never last forever. Either the death fog will blow over, or the fireworks and paradise downs will cool off. You'll see. We'll be right as rain before two. <laughs> Splat. That's what the pool was having. Paddy was pulling a car. Paddy pulled it real good. Slow and careful. Careful and slow. Paddy carried the good stuff on account of Paddy was real good at it. Paddy fell in the ravine. Ah. Oh. Paddy fell in the ravine. And she fell down there. Did he? Oh, I can go down there. Let's have a look. Is that Paddy? Well, there's Paddy. Whoa! Ground's trembling almost as bad as the Lady Vengeance on rough seas. We're all cursed. It's over there. That's the other side, look. Alright. Mm -mm -mm. Don't think I can do much there yet. Let's have a look down here. Who's this guy? No! Another dead dwarf. There's some vines going <coughs> up. Going to be a grim harvest here this year. Whoa, what the hell is that? Whoa. That looks difficult. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Why is the chicken here again? Sometimes he is, sometimes he isn't.
Ah, a nice sunny day again. Right, so we've explored the area. That fight we've discovered is stupidly hard. Try and take on Roost again. But he was really tough as well, wasn't he? Uh, where's that place? That's. No. Statue. It's the excavation site. Where was that? There. Let's try and get there and see if we can do anything with the excavation site. Because we did see that dwarf, didn't we? Maybe that's something we could follow up. I don't know, it seems <clears throat> most directions are going now. The fights are stupidly hard. still a mess of what I left it before. Oh, I cannot get up there. What? Turns out. Goody. To go a long way. What's that? The music's changed. I've been through it. There's not going to be a fight. So, let's have a look. No, we want to go straight on. So next on the left. his foot arms crossed why are you wasting everyone's time get to the site before the empress sees you don't know the outlaw empress she got you for the disrespect <laughs> so best get digging before she gets back the site's close it has to be there's more stones to break more earth to turn we need to get there well, I think this is it. So, 
The slab remains lifeless, but you sense power lurking within the cold stone. The central rune is stained black with a thousand years' worth of blood. A relatively fresh coating flakes off in the wind. Symbols radiate from the slab's central rune, but you do not know their meaning. Well, it's all a bit vague, isn't it? Vain blood on it? I don't know. Um, worth a shot, I suppose. slab is covered with cryptic engravings obscured in places by smears of dried blood. half the runes are words the rest are corresponding musical notes the inscription is an ancient dwarven dirge the melody is similar to a popular dwarven drinking song though the modern version is markedly less macabre the central rune is stained black with a thousand years worth of blood what then <laughs> The spirit of a dwarf frowns at you. Suspe I don't hear any pickaxes! We can't be wasting time! The Empress will have me head! And haven't you seen the excavation site? There's real treasure there. Bones of the beast! The site's close. It has to be. There's more stones to break. This is an excavation site, isn't it? Yeah, I'm here. What do you want me to do with it? Um. Maybe I've got a. The spirit taps his foot. Why are you wasting everyone's time? Get to the site before the Empress sees. What are you doing? There's work waiting. She'll kill us both, you know. Work's waiting. No time for anything else. Get to the site or it's your hide. I don't know, maybe I could consume this thing. Maybe that would help. I'll tell you what, let's save it and do it. Taps his foot. Why are you wasting everyone's time? What are you doing? There's work waiting. Rufus. Rufus. Why are you fading? Don't leave me. You're the only friend I have here. Bet you and the Empress would have gotten along great. Too vicious to care about anyone else. Uh, okay, what was that? Oh, collect the full set of Devour armor. Near Stone Garden. I'm nowhere near Stone Garden. <laughs> there must be another excavation site around there somewhere. Oh, fuck it. I never saw one when I was there. Hmm. Maybe we should go back and have a look. So he's still there, okay. Um That could be it, couldn't it? 
Yeah. Right, come on then. Let's um, investigate this. Try and find the excavation site in the, in the stone garden. I'm going the right way. This area is pretty difficult. It's a lot more difficult than Fort Joy, that's for sure. Right, let's try and find this site. Human graves. Let's hope none are earmarked for me. this a rotten leg short stick sure helmet might as well eat it and devoted to your dog. But you came a-knocking here in search of work, and the dog took a fancy to the man of the house. Your own dog turned on you and tore you down. Oh. All right. Well. Tombstone. Here lies Phylon Surrey, whose family's generous patronage helped build these burial grounds. And who refused to be buried in the Surrey crypt. So there's a door down there. Shadowy tomb. Got no lock picks, have I? That's the um, cremation place. Where am I going? So it's up. What the hell? Stairway? It's a dwarf. In death, the dwarves give eagles life. An elegant passing for an inelegant people. The eagle glowers at you with one baleful eye. Keeping the other eye firmly trained on the stringy morsels of rotting flesh dangling from its beak. Right, I can't obviously speak to you, can I? The eagle glowers at you balefully, with eyes like shiny little buttons. 
one manicured and beribboned claw shoots forth to claim the stringy offal before him. Stretching his neck forward, he peers closely at you. Pretty eyes, eyes that see far. The eagle's own eyes glitter with avarice. Oh. Uh. Think I need your eyes, please. Before me lies a banquet of power, the most splendid feast for all my senses. Peck, peck, peck. The eagle pecks free some choice lump of gristle from deep within the corpse. He swallows Ugh. it whole, dark blood dripping from his beak and matting the fluffy feathers at his throat. Master died, but Master told me what to do. All my life told me you are what you eat. So I do. I will become the master. Unless you are not the new master, are you? <laughs> Tell him you are no master. He ostentatiously fluffs up his. No, you want the red prince, don't you? He can't talk to. The eagle glowers at you with one. No. Well, her can she do it? The eagle glowers at pretty eyes. I... The eagle's own eyes glitter with avarice. Think I need your peck, peck, peck. Master died, but Master told me what to do. Fuck's sake. Think me an I the ostentatious. There's got to be something to do with this thing. Destroy you in a second. <laughs> a bloody thing. Where did it go? I don't think that was the excavation site, was it? It was just a bloody bird. Um, oh, that was useful. Locked in perpetual prayer. Keep trying, my friend. this place down here I've not even been yet anything that looks like a dig site <laughs> I don't think so oh, I've been there so I've been all around here and I I don't think I've been down there yet something there so
He arrests Timus Anchoret. Ever may he look out upon the woods Spotted he loves so dear. Help! I'm down here! What? A mind of this magnitude shouldn't be cursed to live like this. What the hell is this? Can you dig me up? Well, I used to be... Wait. Who did I used to be? I can say with confidence who I am now, at least. A thinker. The likes of which you've never known and never will. Don't worry. There's nothing funny about it. Can Red Prince get him out? And tries to brush the dirt from his clattering bones, then frowns. Okay. The moistest bits are still stuck in his cracks and crevices. Thanks. You're probably looking for a reward, Crispin. but I haven't got much. Except, you know, the wisdom of the ages. He pokes a finger against his ossified head. I'm a bit of a philosopher, you see. Not much else to be, what with all that thinking time. Oh, but I don't just go around giving knowledge away like a, a common... The skeleton pauses and sighs, then straightens his spine with a clatter. A soul bond will settle it. A battle of wits. Then the cosmos itself will decide who can better face the truth of our own essence. Me or you. A weak soul may not survive the bond. But I'm sure you'll be just fine. Soul bond. is dangerous is it not I find it to be true anyway even when you're battling your own mortality the angst can prove terminal oh how fun just you reach for the rib in question but nothing feels different all right mister deep thought first up our purpose in life I s his jaws clack together in a show of self-assurance You question your response the moment it leaves your lips. Your entire body shivers anxiously as you wonder, <laughs> You poor, precious, pathetic thing. That's what happens when you gaze into an unseasoned soul. Let's see if you can do better this time. Tell me, Sammy Smarty Pants, is there such a thing as free will? I say, no. The gods guide our every move. I dare you to outsmart me now. You are immobilized by fear. Fear of the- Aww. Oh, the big lizard's as weak as a kitten. There. I hate to ask another question, but the bond demands it. Sorry and all that. So tell me, is there a difference? Don't hurt yourself now. I know how try- Saying that you can easily distinguish between right and wrong, there are clearly different concepts. Explain that some actions are moral and immoral, Others are not easily defined. You feel the bond break between the truth of your final answer momentarily calms you, but it is not enough to ease the in such a pity. You fucking bastard. <laughs> No, I'm not wasting a scroll like that. Wait. That's bullshit.
Hello, sirens again. Every five minutes, seems to be. Oh. I need to uncover that waypoint again, don't I? Jesus Christ. Oh. Let's get to that and save up, I think. If I can find it again, probably can't. Well, I hope you're liking the game. I'm, I absolutely love the game, but it's testing me a little bit at the moment. It's um, the difficulty curves seems to have jumped right up. But I don't know. We've got. To, I'm trying to find little bits to do to up, upgrade. Let's hope none are earmarked for me. Yeah, we know that. We've done that. That means the crow's back alive anyway. Um... Point discovered, good. Okay, ladies and gents, we're gonna save it up there and um continue this next time. Thank you for joining me again. No, I don't want it there. Save over that. Yeah, thanks for joining me. See you next time.